Hi there, I got a new toy. Let's check it out. Yes, this is a 3D printer. It does all the cool magical things where it melts the plastic and makes it into the 3D things and it's kind of like magic. You might be asking, why do I have a 3D printer? Well, it kind of goes like this. I was showing a bunch of videos of like engines that people 3D printed and other plastic things they printed, RC airplanes and all that. And I was showing it to my dad. He loves RC airplanes and engines and stuff. And he, and he immediately thought, I must possess this technology. Uh, and he ordered one right there. That moment, that day, a original Prusa i3 Mark II S. And it came assembled, calibrated, supposedly ready to go right out of the box. Uh, and uh, But why is it here, you might ask, if he ordered it? Well, I uh, want a little something like this. Merry Christmas, take that witchcraft device home with you, and you figure it out. I've been playing with it a lot, I mean testing, testing it a lot, and uh, I've made a bunch of things. So the idea here is that it melts some plastic and it deposits in layers, layer, 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 built on layer, built on layer, and in the end you get a three-dimensional object. Some of these worked, some of these didn't. I gotta say, most of it worked perfectly good. Uh, I have no basis of comparison when it comes to other 3D printers. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All I did was open the box, plug it in, and go. So if you want to know how it is for an idiot to take this straight out of the box and get going, this is a good example. Here's all the stuff that I've been making so far, some of the stuff. Now these were all made with the 3D printing filament that was supplied. I think it's called PLA in silver, and the majority of them were from files I found online. So like... My wife's a big Doctor Who fan, printed this nice kind of big thing, a weeping angel. A pony. There are a lot of ponies online, and my, my daughter loves this show. I actually printed more than one of these, but I can only find one of them. They kind of disappeared. A little car, an opal manta. Check out the detail on that thing. Headlights and stuff, and grills. So it came with a couple of things, like this, this little acupuncture needle for stabbing people who get in the way of your prints. No, I think it's for cleaning the nozzle. Uh, I've added some some cutters, these pliers, which proved to not be very useful because I melted the tips with a blowtorch. My bad. And this is a skew like paring chisel for for wood carving, a wood river chisel. But I use it for getting the things off the bed. I printed a whole bunch of things, including like this boat. Now this is with purely factory settings. I didn't mess with anything. I used a program called Prusa Control, I guess is what it's called. And uh, it came out nice. came out really nice, actually. I'm really happy with it. And if you're wondering about these colored Pokemon, there's oil paint pens and a very artistic wife. She's the one who made them colorful. Underneath, they're just gray. I had more of those, but, you know, daughter plays with them. And that's pretty much it. I've been making mainly toys uh, for my kid and just testing things out because I don't know what I'm doing. But still, success, right? Sometimes not. This one here was supposed to be a Bulbasaur did not work out so well. Looks like a Bulbasaur who got, uh, I don't know, run over by a bus, maybe? But as far as I can tell, this sort of luck is really good for 3D printers. I've heard it referred to as a plastic sadness simulator. Uh, I, that has not been my case, although one time it did get kind of screwy. This thing got jammed over to one side and would only kind of operate over in this side, and it was all screwy, and I'm like, okay, screw this. I'm going to I'll deal with it later. Turn it off, go to work, come home, turn it on, and it, and it works. It, it just starts working. So, you know, either it heals itself or it's achieved sentience and figured out its own problem or it's possessed, who knows. But either way, it works now. And I printed a new one of these. So here's how this works. I've seen people like with chisels gouging and scraping the crap. This is a specialty chisel for paring wood. So if you have a dowel sticking up, you can slide it and pair nice and smooth without scratching the nice wood surface. So I take that, I honed up the corners slightly, eh, eh, pops it up and it doesn't gouge the crap out of your nice print surface. I think the symbol on like a car in Japan means you suck at driving, or you're new to driving, or something about not being great at driving. So watch out. So I'm going to stick this on the keychain of the Jeep, because uh, you know, a three-year-old girl driving a Power Wheel Jeep, probably not the safest driver. Is there anything useful you can do? Yes, a couple things. One, this plastic melts at a low temperature, so you can treat it like wax, cover it in plaster, and then burn it out and cast it. Yes, lost PLA plastic casting is going to be a thing that I'm going to do. Probably not a pony. I don't want my kid leaving little metal ponies everywhere. The plastic one is hard enough. Maybe I'll do little cars. I don't know. But check this out. 
This is from a flapper on like a dryer. Well, these break. And then you gotta buy like the whole new assembly. So we thought, screw that. We'll try to prototype some, which I have here, print them up, and uh, we'll just use those. Throw them in the work truck, stick them on when they fall off, you know. Printed one. This is, this is done in the lowest quality, hence the, the real visible layers. But it wasn't quite right, so I modeled up a slightly bigger one. And then you can do this, which is which is pretty nice with a 3D printer. So I'll, I'll probably be doing that. No videos on that, probably, because that's really boring. Really, really boring. But hey, it's useful. And that basically is the gist of it. So something else to worry about. Uh, these little legs and all this stuff, there's a lot of support material that prints uh, on there. And I was just using pliers, ripping it off. Funny story. And the, the support material is really stuck on there. Really, really stuck on there. So I yanked really hard, and I ripped one of these little pony legs right off of her little pony shoulder using my little pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, but you know, it makes the surface it's really nice to super glue back together, which is great, uh, because I didn't end up traumatizing my daughter, who is three years old and loves this show. But it's fine, because shortly thereafter, she broke one of the pony's other little legs off. I guess moral of the story is these aren't as tough as a lot of other toys. So if your kid likes throwing them on the ground, yeah, they're, they're going to break. Super glue is your friend. But in my experience, very easy to use. I've only screwed up 25% of the time, which is way better than when I tried to learn welding or tried to learn woodworking or casting or anything. If the program's right, if I get the settings right, I hit go, and then I have a sandwich, and then it's done. One more thing to consider. This is pretty big. You can go bigger. Oh no, tipped over. Mistakes were made. These things are smaller. This takes like 20 minutes. If that seems like a lot, then you should see how long it takes to make this thing. This was like all night. I started when I went to bed. Woke up the next morning, it was like here. Halfway through the day, it finished off the shoulders, head, and wing tops. It takes for freaking ever for these things to make stuff. Also, loud. Loud, loud. A lot of times it was making noise. Not so much with like these little things that are that are pretty uh, pretty slow moving, but like large things. Like this is pretty big. The Batman symbol that we can't, that came preloaded with the printer. That's pretty large, and the nozzle's moving really quick. And I could hear it through the whole house. And sometimes it makes noises, and I'm like, Oh no, it's broken. Why is it broken? And it's not broken. It's just really freaking loud. And since I can't go without a good demonstration, listen to that. I don't know how well it picks up, but I can hear it. It's not too noisy. And also, how can I resist building something? So I cut the plain parts out of this frame and I'm gonna try to put it together. It might seem kind of simple, and, and it is, but this is important because this printed some tiny, tiny parts. And if you wanna figure out if they're precise or not, you wanna to try to put them together. If they go together smoothly, then we know it prints very, very precisely. Let's see, tail. This doesn't come with instructions, by the way. I'll put a link down below to the place I found it. It's a free file. Uh, okay, that went in nice. It's a little bit not super tight, but this is just a model. It doesn't, ah, ah. doesn't have to be like airworthy. Is that a term, airworthy? I don't know if the wing goes this way or the other way. Oh, problems, problems. These little tabs here, also problems. I'm noticing some harsh shadows from my lighting. That's what I get for changing the light bulbs. Just wanted some of the light bulbs to not be burned out, and I ended up with a bunch of different points of light. Live and learn. Never change your light bulbs. Uh, come on. Eh, there we go. It snapped, it snapped. I assume that hole is the center. Really nothing to hold it in. Uh, Alright, I guess that works. Landing gear? Alright, snaps in. I bet you gotta bend these down. You can't really with this. This is this PLA plastic. It's brittle. They would snap if I bend them down. So I, I'm gonna not do that. And then this, the prop. Eh? See, it works kinda. It's a bit floppy, but hey, a little super glue, some duct tape, and then trying the whole thing over again, and it'll be good as new. And if you want to see me print anything specific and then cast it in aluminum using lost PLA casting or sand casting, you can make sand casting patterns in these too. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. So there you go. I like this printer. I'm going to make a lot of things with it. And then we're going to make them into metal. And I'll probably do other stuff. Uh, if you have any specific questions about 3D printing, I'm not the person to ask. I have no idea. Probably want to find an expert.